What is up, beautiful people of the internet? I go by the name of Wesley, and today we are reacting to Bruce Stew Cub Scout Camp. You know I love my animations. I've never watched Bruce Stew, so I have no idea what to expect. Cub Scout Camp. I don't know where this could go. This could be very dark. It could be very wholesome. I have literally no idea. I feel like the animation world is like the wild, wild west of YouTube and you have no idea if you're about to see like stick figures get ripped in half and dragged around the city of Troy repeatedly and then thrown into a wood chipper or if it's going to be lovely and wholesome. That being said, I'm Wesley. Subscribe down below for more reactions. Please comment other animators you want to see me do and let's just get into it. Because I'm scared. <laughs> all right. Now, when I was a kid, Cub Scouts was a big deal. And in Cub Scouts, you do all sorts of stuff. All you sorts. You raise blocks of wood down a ramp. You carve animals out of soap with a sweet pocket knife. But most of all, you got to go to Cub Scout Camp. Now, our Cub Scout Camp was in this random plot of land in the middle of the city called Camp Miaconda. That's a cool name, first of all. Second of all, I feel like I can't... I can't tell yet if we're in wholesome animation territory or not because his voice is giving me vibes of dark animation territory. So we will see where this goes. Also love the Lincoln Log Cabin and don't act like those Crafts and Cub Scouts weren't fire. I would love to do some of those activities now and YouTubers would love to do some of those activities for videos. The Akanda, of course, is an old Mohican proverb that translates to land adjacent to a Kmart. And my little 10 year old ass couldn't even pronounce Camp Miaconda. To me, it was always Camp Anaconda. Anaconda, of course, is an old English proverb that means shitty Jennifer Lopez movie. <laughs> now, at Camp Anaconda, our main goal was to earn merit badges. And I have to say, it was pretty easy for us to earn these merit badges because our Cub Scout leader wasn't very good at his job. He liked to half ass a lot of things. We'd be standing in the middle of the woods and he'd be like, uh, yeah, you guys know fire is really hot, right? Uh, yeah? Okay, good job. Here's your fire safety badge. You guys know when you get lost in the woods, you're supposed to eat berries and fucking try to get <laughs> your way out, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Perfect. Here's your forest survival badge. But of all the badges... Damn! That sucks. I feel like that kind of invalidates the entire purpose of joining the Cub Scouts and going to these camps. That's awful, man. That's like middle management in a T, isn't it? It's like, man, here's a great program. Uh... Yeah, guys, can, you need to get back to work. It, that great program with amazing training that'll help you develop as a human being and become a better asset to our company. Yeah, we don't actually want you to do that. We just like are saying that you're doing that because we want to look good. And it was mandated by HR, but like, just click the button. Yes, you took it and go back to work, please. That you can earn. Nothing was more important than your Arrow of Light badge. Because your Arrow of Light badge proved that you were no longer just a shitty little Cub Scout. You were a full-blown Boy Scout. That's You're an epic-ass name. You're a fucking Man Scout. I am Boy Scouts. So on what would be my... How old are... Who, how old are Boy Scouts? That guy had a better beard than me. Last trip to Camp Anaconda, our goal for that weekend was to finally earn our coveted Arrow of Light. And on this particular trip, my dad decided to chaperone. Because, well, it's hard for one person to manage a bunch of punk ass kids in the woods i don't think Fair. he was excited for it what the babysit a bunch of shitheads in the middle of the woods not really no and i can't really blame him now in order to get your arrow of light you had to meet certain expectations they're not just gonna give it to you it's the fucking arrow of light for christ's sake it does they sound intense Girl scout man. bullshit where if you sell two cookies they give you 19 fucking bad <laughs> yeah you just have to listen to your your middle manager of a cubs troop leader like, say nothing. He just hands them out. To be fair, the Girl Scouts are learning entrepreneurial services, marketing, sales. Like, at least they're learning something. Bro, you're learning wrong information to get your badges from this balding bastard over here. Don't rock on these Girl Scouts being entrepreneurial. Yeah, sure, they're not getting any of the money. Yeah, sure, it's kind of child labor. Just saying, it is kind of child labor. And the company has kind of hacked the system so they can have, like... Cute little girls run around and tug on everybody's heartstrings to manipulate you into buying cookies. I mean, sure, the cookies are fire. I love me some Samoas, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The the Cubs, the Girl Scouts have cracked the system. They get free labor. Not only that, free child labor. But the girls do get to sell and get sales experience and entrepreneurial experience. So I guess that's a positive. Maybe. I don't know. Is on your sachet? No. It was a big deal. But with our lame-ass Cub Scout leader, we just had to do the bare minimum. Uh, okay, it says here you guys gotta know how to tie a square knot. Can you do that? Uh, I can tie my shoes. Good enough Good for enough, me. Good enough, baby. One here. You have to memorize the Scout code. A Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Jesus Christ, Timmy, that was a bit overkill, don't you think? <laughs> God damn, I would've accepted be good or not be an asshole, for Christ's sake. Now, our final test for our Arrow of Light happened inside of the cabin that we were staying in on the last 
night of the trip. All right, here's the deal. You guys can get your little arrows of light as long as you keep this fire lit all night tonight and you don't burn down the cabin and murder everybody, okay? Oh, Naturally, wow. Naturally, we all decided to take two hour shifts watching the fire while the rest of us slept. And because it was my brilliant ass idea, I got the first shift. Now, staying up for fire duty was pretty easy for two reasons. For one, our scout leader told us this really fucked up scary story right before bed and it traumatized the hell out of us. <laughs> Did you kids ever hear about the Manitoba Mangler? The Manitoba Mangler? Yeah, it's a story about a guy that murdered a bunch of children in the 1980s. Yeah, he hacked them all up into pieces with a dull chainsaw. It was fucking wild. And for two, for those of you that don't know, my dad likes to snore loud as hell. And when I say loud as hell, I mean if he was taking a nap on the couch, you could hear his ass from the outside. My uncle and my mom. Sorry, mama. I'm sorry to expose you like this, mama. My uncle and my mom are both like this. They are such loud snorers. When I go to visit that side of the family with my mom, I'm just like, dude, it sounds like there's a metronome going. Just, <sighs> I feel so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, me familia. I'm sorry I exposed you like that, but it's the truth, and y'all know it. <laughs> There'd be people. That's walking. called sleep apnea, by the way. Like. My uncle has sleep apnea. We found out now. So if you guys snore like that, or if you have family member that snore like that, it's actually usually a health problem where your your airways are literally obstructed while you're breathing, and it can cause you to die. So like, please, if you have a loved one that does that, send them to the doctor. Get them into a sleep study. Get them diagnosed with sleep apnea because they have ways to help. Like my uncle has a breathing machine while he sleeps now to help him out. So. I'm just saying, guys. The street and shit. <laughs> what the hell was that? A goddamn wildebeest? Hell, he'd snore so loud, sometimes he'd wake his own ass up. Yeah, that's ah, called sleep apnea, that? bro. There a in here? So there Your I dad am. has a I'm condition. My dad's snoring like he's possessed by the fucking devil. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, the whole cabin's awake. Jesus Christ, that man's septum is deviated as fuck. Some little kids outside the cabin taking a piss, wondering what the hell's going on. It's the, the mangler! Is somebody starting a chainsaw? Is it the fucking Manitoba mangler? So needless to say, we didn't catch the goddamn cabin on fire because, well, nobody got to sleep that night except for my dad. The next morning, everybody's pissed off at him. Hey, uh, the next time you want to help me out with a bunch of kids, can't you not snore like it's the fucking apocalypse? So shout out to my dad's demonic ass snoring because without that, we wouldn't have got our little goddamn arrows of light. Damn. Damn, you know who's first string on the lineman? Damn. You know who's going to be a four, a five-star prospect on wrestling and football and whatever else, shop put. This man is a unit. He's not even a boy at this point. He looks like he has more testosterone in his four-year-old body than I do in my 28-year-old. What the hell? Did his dad have him on a cocktail of GHTRT, PCP? I, that's, that last one I don't think is performance enhancing. Except maybe in... Very, very specific circumstances. Since he was a toddler, this kid is ridiculous. Why is he in Cub Scouts and not in some type of, like, recruitment camp for elite athletes? Brewstew.com Thanks for watching, everybody. Real quick, I wanted to shout out Alex Clark, who did a cartoon on the same subject. For those of you that don't know, he doesn't do baby shit anymore. He says bad words now, like uh -oh. piss and uh -oh. uh, jabroni. You uh -oh. know, the worst of the worst. So make sure you check out... Bruce too and, was uh, super Jabron funny, guys. I really enjoyed his content. Please, I'm always looking for more fun animators to react to. He was super funny. I feel like in the, in the wheel from Wholesome to Dark, he was firmly planted at about a 45 degree angle towards dark because we didn't see any gratuitous gore but there was a lot of verbal harm and hurtfulness <laughs> that being said guys have a beautiful beautiful day thank you so much for watching i go by the name of wesley subscribe down below for more reactions like i said in the comments please let me know other creators you want to see me react to animators or non-animators i love just reacting to stuff with you guys y'all are amazing take care of yourself i'm